you know, we, the reason why we come to the park yeah. is because when we talk about God, God is interested in the souls of men. Yeah. You know, uh, Rami, have you started? Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah. You started? Give me, give me a mic, or yeah. You want to even, yeah? It's all right. Yeah, please. Oh, yeah. You know, um, today I want to, Ro Robin. Robin, I want myself and Robin, we want to talk to something that I think is uh, very important to the body of Christ. Yes. yes, yes. Uh, this is a spring place corner. It's a wonderful place to be in. Beautiful. It's got history of a 200 years. Serious? I didn't even know that. That is beautiful. Many people have been speaking here for very long, yeah. long time. You understand? And we are also privileged to add our voice to the campaign. Yeah, yes. Great Britain has given us an inheritance. Yeah. This country is a Christian nation. Yes. If we look at the great, the fathers of this country, the reason why the country is so attractive to the whole entire world, because the country, the the foundation of this country was a was founded on the Christian values. values yes, yeah, we cannot afford to lose those values. See where it got us as well. Sorry. See where it got them as well. Yes. You know, this is why it attracts people from all over the world. Society today is the way it is because of its original spirit. About that, you, God bless you. And the amazing thing is, you know when we sing the national anthem, yeah. and we say, God bless the what? <laughs> God bless the what? Yeah. Save the king. So the God that we are talking about is not one man God. No. It's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God saved the world, yeah. the king. Yeah. So it is an error for you to watch our video and think that you don't need God. Because the, the God, the, this country, the national anthem itself, yeah. Yeah. reverence God. Yes, exactly, without a doubt. So, tell them something. So many, of our, so many of our beliefs are built off, whether you believe or not, mm. so many of the beliefs, the law system is completely built on exactly. values. And I was actually having a debate with uh, a Muslim brother uh, on this park, and um, we were talking about sin, and I was trying to explain how sin to us yes. is equal, yeah. and how we agree upon that our nature is sinful, right? That's right. And so it is inevitable that we must sin. That's, uh, that's right. And so the fact that we're human, right, we are inevitably going to sin. Because that's the biggest human, sorry, yeah. the biggest human issue we have is sin. Because we all have sinful nature. Yes. If you are from American, you struggle with sin. Yeah. If you are from Europe, if you are human, if you are human, yes. African, Europe, all over the world, we have one common enemy. Yes. And what is that enemy? Sin. Satan. Satan and sin. And so there must be a consequence to sin, right? We believe, right, that the consequence of sin is death. That's right. So therefore, we are in need of a savior. We need a savior. We need a savior. <laughs> and brother, when was the last time you went to your GP? GP? Probably the other week. Every time you go to see your GP, yeah. the message there is you need a savior. You need it. Yes, exactly. Because the GP will say, Robin, what brought you here? Then they say, oh, I'm having some pain within my sister. Yeah, yeah. So when we sit down, let's begin to check and analyze a few things. Yeah, yeah. The moment they make investigation about your body, and say, oh, Bobby, what happened to your mm. shoulder? Then we begin to prescribe. Yeah. So when you go to your GP, yeah. the simple message there. It's one million a savior. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and like you just said, you can then say the Bible is the investigation of our soul. My goodness. Yes. My goodness. Yes. You understand? Look, the reason why people have been trained to stop fire. 
when the fire break out here, yeah. every one of us will be running away. Yeah. But there are men who have been trained to stop fire. Yeah. What, what do they call them in the society? Firefighters. Firefighters. Yeah. You see that? Fire. Yeah, yeah. Fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am not a firefighter. <laughs> Well, we are that, makes, that, that makes two of us, yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yes. But the more we are running away, the more we they, are, they are also coming to stop the fire that we are running. Mm. So our message was everybody needs a savior. Everybody. Jesus is the savior of all human race. All human race. He's the savior of the Arab. Savior of Africa, Savior of Europe, Savior of America. He's not only Savior of a group of people. Yes. Everybody qualified to be saved. And here's a living example. It translates languages. My it goodness. doesn't matter what culture you're from, everybody's accepted, and the only baseline is loving Jesus. My goodness. That's it. You should go to the famous scripture in the Bible. And uh, Matthew, uh, uh, John chapter 3. Let the good people who are watching, when you see, when we come to the path, the path gives us opportunity to begin to create sense of our awareness of the Christian community all over the world. Yeah. Because we, the church is one body. The church is one body. Yeah. You see, when we look at when my wonderful friend Ruben, he's a wonderful gentleman. But this gentleman has a head, a hand, the leg, yeah. everywhere. The moment the leg is taken off, your body becomes deficiency. Yeah. Even though you have your hand to go and do the things you can do. But you need your leg to carry you to the very place, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Where did you want me to read from? John, uh, John chapter 3, verse 16. 3, verse 16. Today we bring to your attention every single person need a savior. Did you say 16? Yes. For God so loved the world. That is the, the golden scripture in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. For God, let the good people listen to yeah, you. Yeah, Tell yeah, them, yeah. they are watching you. For God, Lord. Yeah, so for God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. And whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Should not perish. Can you please explain that? Should not perish, but have everlasting life. life. And I think the biggest thing here is everlasting life with God. That's right. I think that is the biggest thing. Mm. Because whether you like to admit it or not, everyone is going to have eternal life. That's right. But it depends whether you're going to be spending that with God or without Him. You see, the sad news is all of us have aspiring, aspiring time. Yep. Some live for 50 years, some live for 70 years, yep. some live for 80 years. Whoever you are, yeah. there is a time come aspiring, you are going to be a spy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yep. It's not the best word to use. But you'll be a spy. We will not see you again. Those who know you, when they come, they say, Where is Ruben? Yeah. If you see him, he's gone. <laughs> Moved on to better things, yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. This is where I want us to explain. When we say God has a son, mm -hmm. Ruben, what does it mean? Because a lot of yeah, people yeah. a lot of people think God came to sleep with a woman. No, no, no. There is no woman that can take care of God. No, no, no. no. So when you say God had a son, the people think, oh, women, we came, we came to sleep with a woman. Let's focus. Now you're plugged for You see, explain that to the good people. Don't, don't let them be yeah, okay. These guys, they are very good in that. Like you were just saying before, yeah. it's not man becoming God. That's right. Because God humbled himself mm. to come into the world mm. as man and then came into the world. So what? it was 100% human, 100% God. One of the things that people need to understand is this. 
Uh, when we come to the park, there's a lot of people who misrepresent yes. the Christian faith. Yeah. We are not saying a man became God. No man can become God. Do you know any man who has become God? Well, exactly, because if a man became God, that would make the point that while he was man, he would have sinned. Mm. In fact, that us as humans are sinful. Right. So, it is not possible. Well, wow, that's a very valid point. Mm -hmm. If a man becomes, I want you to repeat that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If a man becomes so, God. Yeah, in, in that concept that a man becomes God, Whilst he is still a man, he has had to sin. That's, that's to be to our sinful nature as human. You see, so the scripture says, For God so loved the world. He so loved us, right? That is he he his only begotten son. And not only did he come into the world, he came into the world knowing he would be a sacrifice. My goodness. Amen. So Jesus was our sacrifice. Our sacrifice, our lamb. Please, you see, for God so loved the world that my good friend here, he needs a savior. Yeah. Come to Jesus, start making propaganda. The only to honest me, that's a fabrication. That verse is fabrication. The my standard version. So many propagandists in the park. <laughs> they don't look at the text. All they do is they are key. But go to, let's let the Bible speak. Yeah. You understand? You want me to read it again? No. For God so loved the world. Oh, okay. So go to the next verse. The next verse? 17 and 18. <laughs> For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So the scripture position is this. Yeah. For God did not send his son to condemn the world. Yeah. Yeah. For God did not send his son to condemn the world. Yeah. So if you are watching, it's not too late for you to come back to oh, Jesus. It's never too late. And someone was trying to argue me this before. They were trying to say, so you're telling me if Hitler became uh, believed in Jesus, he'd be saved. Yes. Jesus and yes. God can kill everybody yes. in the community. They even the God to not be saved. <laughs> it is as simple as that. I feel like that is a message that is so easy lost nowadays. Mm. It's not from what you can do. It's right. not from what I can do. That's right. It is solely in our belief and love in Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah. It, it is a very important topic, my good friend, Jesse. You see? We all sin. We are all Oh, we all fall short of the glory of God. For so God did not send a son. Let them, let them hear the, the word of God. For so God did not do what send a son to condemn the world, yeah. but to him. Yeah. <laughs> might be saved. You might be saved. Remedy for salvation in Jesus Christ. Amen. And verse 18. Uh, he who believes in him. He who believes in him. If you are watching, yeah, listen. and you are believe the lies about Christ, yeah. our humble submission to you is this. Yes. Come back home. Yes. There is a vacancy in Jesus' boat. It's like the lost son, right? In the power there? That's right. I'm talking about. It's okay to make a mistake. Yes. We've all made terrible mistakes one shape or four. Yes. But if you have made a mistake because you were told the Bible is corrupt, you were told the Bible cannot be trusted, you were told that Christian said men, you were told the Bible has been fabricated. If anybody ever tells you the Bible is corrupt, my humble submission is this. Ask them to give you the uncorrupt Bible. Mm. Yes. Yes. Have you ever been told that the Bible is corrupt? I've been told countless times. Have you ever been told that it, what will happen is mm. they'll pull a verse out, put <laughs> it like as evidence, we we prove them. why it isn't evidence, and then they'll say it's corrupt. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine this? Can you imagine that? I'm imagining it. Can you imagine I'm trying to. Can you imagine that? This is reality. And this is what is so sad. Let me, let me tell you something that actually happened today. So another Muslim brother that I was talking about, mm. this is just the classic debate. Sorry, al Bukhari says that Muhammad married a child at six, consummated her at nine. Mm. And I told him this, right? Their beliefs, the Sari Bukhari, um, is fully the truth, right? And I told him, so do you agree with this? And he didn't. And the saddest thing was, he's trying to defend it, he's trying to find these all these other avenues where you're trying to justify it. He said, oh, if they're mature, it's okay. Which mature nine-year-old do you know? So, 
it's, it's so difficult. It's, it's just sad because you can tell deep down mm. they know that this is false and they know that deep down this is wrong. They mm. shouldn't be following. This is a prime example. They think Muhammad is the example to follow. Come to come to Jesus Christ. If you are watching us, we are calling you back. Some people, because they were, the people misrepresent Christianity yes. to them. Jesus was perfect. He was a perfect sacrifice. Read John chapter 1, verse number 29. Yesterday I was doing the studies yeah. and I was blown away by the amazing about this scripture. Beautiful. You know, one verse what? John chapter one, yeah. Read from verse 14. 14. 14. And the word became flesh. Which was the word, the word of the God. Of us. Yeah, one. So this one needs to be explained. You see, God is eternal. Yeah. So if God is eternal, so is his word. Yep. So it's like uh, there's never been a time in your life where uh, Reuben, word seems to be with Reuben. Mm. Every time Reuben is, is uh, alive, uh, Reuben word is with him. Yes, yes. It yep. even says, while he was creating the world, we were in his thoughts. Right. So people don't understand when we said uh, Jesus, the, uh, Jesus is the son of God. We are not saying that God came to sleep with a, 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 a woman. Some say, oh, God pregnant Mary. Come here, Mary. Where's the evidence? Where does it say this? You see, Show me. God, can, look at Mary. God pregnant Mary. God is in charge of the whole universe. Through a miracle of the will of the Father. So the word became what? The word became flesh and dwelt among and us. Among us. And we beheld his glory. Goodness. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The word became flesh. Yes. The word that exists with yes. God in heaven has not come to our human space. And where, 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 where was the word? From verse 1? In the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. God bless you, sir. You see, God bless you. Go to verse 15. There's something there. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me. I'm going to know he was before me. was what? What does that mean? He who comes after me is preferred before me. Before? What does that mean? He was before me. What does that mean? He pre exists. Yep. Because John was born before Jesus came into in human flesh. Yes, yes. But John said he was before what? Are you catching it? Yeah, yeah, before him. <laughs> what does it say? Before, who comes after me uh -huh. is preferred before me, yeah. or he was before me. My goodness. So he was he was from the beginning. He was before. Yes. The word is the same happening. After he was before. He was before. The word of God was before. I want to explain. Make sure you grab that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's beautiful. The John said he was before yes. me. Yes. Okay. Please carry on. People at this time they were thinking, you know, um, who to get baptized by, this, that, and the other. Who is the real one? All of them pointed towards Jesus. Right. All of them pointed towards that. No, he is the Messiah. That's right. Not me. So he was before me. Carry on, my good friend. So he who comes after me is preferred before me mm -hmm. than he was before me. Mm -hmm. And of his fullness we have all received in grace for grace. See, so we have received something that we do not deserve. Do not deserve. Grace. Yes. Grace for what? Out of grace. Of pure love. Can you explain that to the good people are listening? Grace for grace. So us as a human species, right? We have this nature of sin. So therefore, we need a savior. We need a savior to take our punishment. Everybody, if you are watching, everybody needs a savior. Yes. Every if you are atheist, you need a savior. Yeah. Exactly. If you are agnostic, you need a savior. Yes. If you are Muslim, you need a savior. savior. If you are Buddha, you need a savior. savior. If you are Hindu, 
you need my savior. If you are ashamed to, you need my savior. Everybody need what? Savior. And who is that savior? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Some people think and look, they did nothing to deserve this. But look, look at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> You see Buckingham Palace, yeah. it's not far from where we are. But we cannot just walk and say, Prince Charles, we are coming to see you. In order for us to walk into Buckingham Palace, Prince Charles needs to give us invitation. Yes. Without the invitation, the guards, the body guards, those who are assigned to protect Buckingham Palace, they will not open the door for you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. The only condition yeah. is that we accept him. Exactly. So you what can't from is that you can't just wake up and he say created us. my goodness. He created a perfect world. Mm. Due to our free will, we created sin into this world, right? And we inevitably continue to sin. That's right. And then, without even deserving it, mm. Jesus Christ humbled himself, became human, and gave us the grace that we do not deserve. So, don't be distracted. So, we need a savior. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be distracted. Yeah. Yeah. So we need a savior. Mm. So don't, don't be distracted. Don't, don't be distracted. So when you go to, you see, we need a savior. We need a, a Matthew Gospel chapter one. Don't be distracted. Focus. This is speaker's corner. Some people come here and just throw dust, and they keep throwing dust in the mind. Don't, don't be distracted. And it's sad to see because one thing that I think is so important is seeking the truth. Seeking the truth. And one thing that is so sad is, especially here, it seems such disingenuous people who are stuck in their faith and are not willing to hear the truth. And once they do, they reject it. Yeah, this is why the park is, you see, Speaker's Corner got a great riches. And uh, it's a, a platform that many do follow. So there are many people who come here and misrepresent the Christian faith. And uh, many people who come here genuinely seeking for answers. And there are many who come here and also use the platform to convey the beautiful message of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we understand the dynamics. We are not drawn in. You understand? The word of God is the most reliable. Great Britain, like we started from our conversation, yes. cannot afford to lose their heritage. Mm -hmm. The fathers of this Great Britain, they are planted a seed. It was built. It was built. The foundation. Do you know the story of David Livingston? Say that again. Do you know the story of David Livingston? Explain now, I don't think so. David Livingston was a missionary who spent a lot of time in Africa yes, right. in a missionary uh, work. When he, he never, he was from Scotland, I believe, yeah. or uh, England, and went to Malawi or spent his time in Africa and led that in the word of God. Mm -hmm. Many souls were one for the kingdom of God. But yes. a time came where we are today. A time came. I had this conversation oh, with you. If you are watching, Jesus is the same, but is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. Don't believe lies. Believe the truth of the Lord Jesus. When we, when we talk about Jesus, it has interest in your soul. Yes. It has your destination of your soul at heart. Yes. And like we said before, the same power that rose Jesus is in us. It's the Bible. Yes. You understand? So people need to understand this. When David Livingston died, the people said, we have done great service to our country. Yes. We cannot allow the people to come and carry your body. Mm. and took the whole body to Scotland. Mm. They said, give us your heart. Mm. They took his heart and they took the body. So the heart was buried in Africa. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. It's so beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> It's so beautiful, my yeah, God. That is so beautiful. Yes. You understand? And that's, that just shows what the love of Jesus Christ oh, can do. What it motivates us as humans to do. You understand? Yes. Jesus loves you. So, you know, read Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, 22, 23. 
Listen to the Bible. And she will bring forth a son. And uh, call his name come, come here, come Jesus. Here. And she will bring a son. Mary, mm -hmm. who is a virgin, was and the angel Gabriel was communicating yes. with her and said, She in the person of Mary the Virgin mm -hmm. will bring forth what? Yeah. A son. Mm -hmm. And he should call his name Jesus. And he should call the son named Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. So Jesus saves us from a sin. The same way you go to GP and want the GP to help you and say, look, I'm having some health issues. Yeah, yeah. Please help me. Yeah. It's not God, it's human, but he has a knowledge to be able to uh, analyze and assess the problem you are facing and give you a prescription that will deal yes. with the matter. Yes. Jesus saved us from our sin. Yes, we are broken. Yeah. So some people don't understand. Oh, I'm not a sinner. I cannot. I'm not a sinner. No. Jesus, according to the Bible, we are all what? We are all. We have the sinful nature. We fall short of the glory of God. No matter how hard you try, there's only one man who is perfect. Jesus is a perfect man. Yes. He said, and carry on. The same thing. So all this was done that I might be prepared. All this was done might be fulfilled. Who, who, there was a prophet there who spoke 700 years before Jesus was born. Read it. So all this was done that I might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with the mm -hmm. child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Yes, spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Yes. So the word that came to the prophet, he received from heaven. So the prophet was a mediator communicating the word of God. You understand? Mm -hmm. Through the prophet. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Did you catch that? Yes, yes. That's the message. Through the prophet. Yes. You understand? So gee, everybody needs a savior. You understand? Yes. We all need a savior. Yes. There is no amount of good that we can acquire. We cannot, born, we, born into we cannot just walk our way to heaven. Jesus is God's invitation yeah. to his creation. You understand that? Yes. Jesus is God's invitation to his creation yes. Yes. in order to draw us to his kingdom. That's an invitation. All you have to do is accept. And you are saved. You understand? So if you go to, uh, you see, that he will save us from our sin. So sin is what separates every man. It's, you know, it's like you, anytime you do something against your mom, you understand? Yeah. You are not in a good terms with her. Yeah, There's yeah, a yeah. sense of feeling away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel away. Yeah. And when he said, oh, mom, I'm sorry for what I did to you last yeah. You know, you asked me to clean the dishes, and now I'm going to clean it. I'm sorry. Yeah. The mom will just put her hand, her hand around you and say, my son, you see, you have reconciled. That is love. That is love. That is love. So when you read, God is love. So the God of the Bible is one we present to you. We present Jesus. Who, Jesus, who is from the tribe of Judah, who was born in Bethlehem, who died, who prescribed his own death, that the Son of Man will die. On the third day, he will rise up. This is the Jesus we present to you. There's a reason why he's called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He wants you to, wants you to be part of his kingdom. If you are watching, oh, come to Jesus Christ. Jesus, the arms of Jesus is open to all men. Jesus is waiting for you to enroll yourself. Don't believe the lies that mis people who are misrepresenting the faith. Don't. A man is not a God. Read First Timothy. First Timothy. Okay. Before you go to First Timothy. Um, okay. Read First Timothy chapter three, verse sixteen. We'll bring our session to an end shortly. Chapter three, verse sixteen.
Oh, forgive me, it's Old Testament, isn't it? No, 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 first Timothy. Timothy, chapter 1. Oh, here we go. First, chapter 1. 1 Timothy, what was it? 1? Today, verse 16. 3 verse 16. All righty. And without controversy. So the Bible said, without controversy. Great is the mystery of God. Great is the mystery. Of godliness. Of God. Did you catch that? With that, with that control, verse great is the mystery of what? Of, good, of godliness. Yes. That means the ways of God are not our ways. You understand? You cannot easily understand the ways of God. Great is the mystery. You see how the beautiful wind is blowing? Yeah. We can feel the wave of the wind. Yeah. But where is it coming from? And where is it going? Great is the mystery of godliness. Yes. Then what does it say? God was manifested in the flesh. God, who lives in heaven, has now manifested in the flesh, in the person of Jesus Christ. Justified in the spirit. Justified in the spirit. Seen by angels. And your Gabriel saw him. And your Michael saw him. Yes, yes. The 24 elders saw him. <laughs> Preach among the Gentiles. Peter saw him preach. Yes. He walked in Capernaum and he walked in Galilee. Yes. He walked in Nazareth. Yes. You understand? The, uh, many people saw him. He was seen by he was seen by Nicodemus. Yes. So he was seen by Joseph Aramatia. Yes. He was seen by Mary Magdalene. Yes. He, real, real. They, they saw him preach. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Believed on in the world, and his message was believed in the world. Mm -hmm. Peter believed his message, so it's a great message to you believe in. Mm -hmm. Some of his enemies believe his message, mm -hmm. some of his critics believe in his message, mm -hmm. and his loved ones believe his message in a full capacity mm -hmm. mm. and received up in glory. And he, he was ascended unto heaven. If you are watching, come back to Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus is the way. Amen. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. No one goes to heaven. If you are desiring heaven, if you want to be part of the kingdom of God, there's only one prescription. Admit one remedy. This is what we are calling you to. Yes. <laughs> we bring our message, as we bring our message, yeah. there's no controversy. The last scripture we want the people to now is go to uh, Romans chapter 5, verse number 8. The God of the Bible is the true God, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of. Uh, 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 Jacob. Romans 5. Romans 5 verse 8. Verse 8. God demonstrates his own love. God, God demonstrates his love towards his own love. His own love. Towards us. Towards Ruby. Towards the one who is watching. Towards us. The multitude in the speaker's corner. The God demonstrates in love towards us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In that while we were still sinners, yes, we were still sinners. Christ died for us. Christ Amen. Jesus Amen. died for us. Amen. Ruby, what do you have to tell us as we bring our session to God? What's your last words to the good people who are watching? We love them. They are the reason why we do this. Yes. Is it to fool our friends. Why do you think we are doing this? We're not to doing this because we're fooling ourselves. No. We're doing this because, you know, we have nothing else better to do on a Sunday. No. We're being brainwashed. <laughs> we're doing this because we have felt the Holy Spirit. Mm. We have felt Jesus' love. We are know we are saved. We know that we are free. Mm. And we are trying to spread the word to others. Give it a chance. Give Jesus a chance. Open yeah. up your heart and see what happens to your life. My goodness. Amen. So if you have ever believed that this Bible is corrupt, it's not true. Mm -hmm. If you have ever believed that the gospel has been changed, it's never true. Mm -hmm. You understand? Jesus is the way. Yes. Jesus 
is what? The truth. Yes. No man goes to the Father. Except through. And the last message I want to give, I want you to read this. Yeah, here. yeah. finishing. Uh, read John chapter 10, verse 9. And let the good people who are listening is the last one. John chapter 10, verse 9. Read it to them, my good friend, brother. Loud and clear. I am the door. Jesus is the door. Mm -hmm. If anyone enters by me, mm -hmm. he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Have you ever had a, a wrong key to a door when you are trying to open in a door and you have a wrong key yeah. and you try and try and it's not opening when you get come frustrated? Mm -hmm. The door to heaven is Jesus Christ. Amen. If you give your heart to Jesus, Jesus will describe your name in the book of life. The Lord which will bless you. We love you so much. Rise from speaker's corner mm -hmm. to your doorsteps. The Lord bless you. And if you don't have a local church, please, some of you have believed lies about the Bible. You have left the faith. You have left the church. Yeah. Come back home. Come home. Come back home. The Lord, the Lord bless you.